So what we're going to do this time is create a system where your game mode might only last so long, let's say, like in Tony Hawk Pro Skater, you might only have a two minute run. And the way we're going to do this is we're just going to open up our characters first by clicking them, go to our hierarchy and press edit. Character, find yourself some space and let's grab an event begin play. You might already be using an event begin play. You can only have one of it. If you are, just find where it is and instead create yourself a sequence. What a sequence does is it allows you to do all the stuff you're currently doing over here and then it'll allow us to do this next thing in the bus that'll get fired um, and we'll have to worry about the delay. If, if you've not got an event begin play, you're fine. What we'll do next is we'll just create a delay for how long we want it to be. If we want it to be, you know, two minutes, we can set it to search and we're going to do five seconds just for the sake of test. And then after five seconds, what I'll do is I'll disable input. And then after I've disabled input, let's just do a quick print string. So there's now times over. Just to test that it's all working. Let's quickly give it a go. So we should run and after five seconds, it should there we go, it's something from running, tell me time's over. Nice and straightforward. Um, at which point we could you know, create another, we'll do, in fact what we'll do is we'll just do a delay. And I'll just say five seconds again. And then I'm going to just reopen the level. What's the level called? Third person example map. Make sure it's case sensitive. Third person example map. Now, let's also create a widget. I've already got an in-game widget, but I'm just going to create a new one so we all know what we're doing. So right click the space at the bottom, user interface widget, in-game time, underscore widget. Now we could do this in two ways. I'll show you both ways quickly. Way one is we could just do a text, which we've done, or way two is we could do a progress bar. Um, let's do a progress bar first, it might be more fun. All right, so over on the right side, you can really choose whatever you know you want your progress bar to actually look like. And you could go for all the settings, you could put different overlays on it and stuff and what will happen is it fills up, it'll just fill up. Um, but the part we're interested in is the progress percent bind. So I'm going to click in that and create binding, which uh, on this I'm just going to create, drag a fit and create a new variable called progress, which will default to zero. It's worth noting though while we're looking at the designer, the progress, where is we at? Um, notice here it goes between 0 and 1, 0 and 1, that's the important part. So if we go to our graph now, and we go to our event graph, what we can do is we'll just create a function that's going to work for this. So let's over on the left, create a function, and we'll call it timer, I should have called it timer f for timer function, but it's all good. So when we fire timer, we're just going to get our progress. Get progress, um, and we'll just do pl float plus float. Oops, put an equals. That's why. And we'll do zero point one. So this whole thing is going to last ten seconds for me. You might have to do a little bit of maths to get this working properly. So set progress. Oops, so now if we go back to my event graph, we need to start this. So off construct, we're just gonna say set timer by function name. The function name is called timer. Every one second, and it's gonna loop. And let's just give that a test. Before we do, we need to make sure it's on our game. So I'm just gonna go to blueprint, up on level blueprint. Now I've already got a system in here. It's just these two nodes we need. So we can 
I'll just delete them and recreate them. Create a widget, which is going to be um, in game time, and we're going to add to viewport. Cool. So as we progress, we can see in the top left that bar is filling. I mean, the timing's off um, because that fills over 10 seconds. So instead, to actually make it work for me, what I would need to do is I'd actually need to do the timer every 0.5. Or alternatively, on my binding, on my timer binding, increase it by 0.2. Like I said, you'll have to work that out if you've got a um, 100 second game, 100 second round, or if you've got a 6 second round, it's going to be different because you need to fill it up on the percent between 0 and 1. Um, the other thing we could do is if you just wanted a simple text, I'm just going to say time, And drag another one in, and it's same. It's going to be the same process, really. We're just going to bind it. So create binding, and we're just going to get our progress, get progress, and paste it in there. And now we can see that filling up. But obviously, in, in that kind of system, we don't want it to fill up. So we just have to change our function. So instead of it going up by one every one second, we want it to go up by one. So I'm going to go back to my event graph. Every one second, go up by one. And you can see now that timer is going up by one. And if you don't want it to go past a certain part, we could just use a clamp like we've done before. So let's um, go back to our timer. We can get a clamp, clamp flow, so it can't go above, in my case, 5, because it looks weird that it still keeps progressing. And there we go, a simple timer. Now, it's going to go up to 5, the timer will stop, the game stops, then in 5 seconds, the level should hopefully restart, and it did. And we can go again. Um, again, you might want to just create a simple. Well, if I got, I've got an in game widget here, I'm just going to change this to instead of it saying you win to, you lose or, or time up. Time up. And that, all that is, it's just a widget with some text on it. And on my third person character, before we do this delay, I'll just create and add a new widget again. In fact, we don't need this print string anymore. So let's create widget. Um, let's just call windscreen. Add to viewport. I hate having my lines all messy like that, but I'm not going to worry too much about that for now. So you can run around for as long as you want your game to go. Then up five seconds. Time's up. Control stop. And then after five seconds, it will restart. Cool, there you go. Nice and simple. Hope you found that useful. Thanks for your time.